Let's decorate for fall. Hi everybody, I'm going to show you how I'm going to decorate my front porch getting ready for the fall season. So I have this great bike that I picked up from my dear friend Meg and I have just loved changing it over from spring and now we're going to fall. So I have some sheet moss and yes, sheet moss is kind of messy but um, it's left over from the, um, the spring season and I'm going to leave it in here and help cover up my, I have a piece of styrofoam. So it'll cover up my styrofoam and all my mechanics. So I just have a piece of styrofoam in there and I'm gonna go ahead and put some fresh moms just off to the side and kind of put some moss, gather some moss up around that so you can't see my little black pots. I'm just gonna leave them in the grower pots. I'm gonna put one on the other side as well. <coughs> and I'll come back and trim these tags off here in a bit. But I picked up some leaves from Hobby Lobby. These were on a big long stem and I've cut them apart to go ahead and put in here and uh, just going to sprinkle them around. And with this being in a wire basket, excuse the dogs barking in the background, I'll pull some, pull some le the leaves through the wire basket. So it looks a little bit more natural. I also have trimmed some branches from my tree and if you remember from one of our other videos they have they dried really nice so I'm going to poke those in here and you can also use your the container that your mom is in if you want to do that so <coughs> there's a new dog in the neighborhood that my uh, dogs are sniffing and barking. Actually, it's a neighbor's dog that doesn't get out much. <clears throat> so those will dry pretty cool. Either go to a bronze themselves or of course you can pick these little picks up at Hobby Lobby. I got them um they are 40% off of $4.99, so I'm going to poke those in there, and I just like how they have the extra fall foliage and some berries, plus the pumpkin. I'm going to bring, put this little guy in the middle, possibly, and bring, eh, I'm going to... We're gonna wait. I'm gonna finish putting these around. And you can just bend these to your heart's desire. All right, I'm gonna put a third one in there so it doesn't look like you have eyeballs staring at you. So I'm just going to, to bring the eye up. I'm gonna put him in the back and this also adds a little bit of height. Now I want a little bit of a different color in there. So if you're familiar with hedge balls, you can go get them in usually yard side, roadside I mean. And what I did is I have a wire pick and you can just usually poke those in. Of course, I don't want the nasty side up, so poke it in there and poke him into my styrofoam. And that's just a nice little texture. And then you can also poke in some additional fall leaves that you may have trimmed off with flowers. I also picked up this flower bush, I, again, 40% off right now at Hobby Lobby, and I think it was $14.99 or something like that. So just to add a little bit of 
other color and texture in there. I'm just going to poke those in there as well. This was off the same bush. Find a place to get him in there. Where'd my work there? And when your stems are too long, you can cut them off and you can always add another flower to the top or you can pull your leaves up and just so it won't come off, put a little hook in it, and those now won't come off, and they're secure. And you can then poke those in. And there you have it. Real simple basket decorated makes your home feel festive. Thanks for watching and tomorrow we will be doing an outdoor planter um, to show you how we can take that from fall and then I'll show you how to carry it over into the holiday season. So thanks for watching. 